The AlcoSensor 3 instruments typically hold their calibration for months or even years without needing adjustment. Intoximeters does not require that the instruments be periodically calibrated. A calibration adjustment need only be performed if an accuracy check on the instrument has failed. This video shows the steps for performing a calibration adjustment on the AlcoSensor 3 breath alcohol instrument using an alcohol gas standard. To perform a calibration adjustment, you will need the following materials. Your AlcoSensor 3 device and a new mouthpiece. The calibration screwdriver that came with your device. You will need an alcohol gas standard. We will be using a dry gas standard with an ethanol content of 0.038 BRAC at sea level. The dry gas standard concentration can be located on the gas tank label. You will also need a tank regulator to attach to your dry gas tank. It is a good idea to keep a logbook of accuracy checks and calibrations performed on your device. You can purchase an accuracy check calibration logbook at alcopro.com. A calibration or calibration adjustment is a procedure for setting the device or instrument to a known standard. A best practice is to allow only certain staff who are proficient in the calibration procedure to perform a calibration adjustment. Before performing a calibration, you must first locate the expected value of your gas standard. The expected or target value of your gas standard can be derived by referencing the altitude chart on the back of your tank. For example, if you are performing a calibration in Knoxville, Tennessee, which has an altitude of 886 feet above sea level, the altitude chart shows the expected value of the alcohol gas tank to be 0.037. You can also derive the expected value of the alcohol gas tank by using a TrueCal device, which uses atmospheric pressure to predict the expected value of the gas. You can purchase a TrueCal device at alcopro.com. Now that you know your expected gas value, you can proceed with the calibration adjustment. First, attach the regulator to the dry gas tank. For safety purposes, point the regulator end of the canister away from your body and away from others. Twist the regulator securely in place, making sure you don't over tighten. You may hear a pop or a hiss sound as you tighten the regulator. This is normal. Before performing the calibration, it is important to purge the regulator. This is done by pressing and holding the button or valve on the regulator for three to four seconds. Purging the regulator releases any dead gas that may be present in the regulator and generates fresh gas for the purpose of the calibration. Next, attach an AlcoSensor 3 mouthpiece to the regulator tube. Check the temperature of the instrument by simultaneously pressing both the read and set buttons. The temperature should read between 15 and 36 degrees Celsius. Now release the read button only. As soon as the temperature displays, press and release the read button three more times while holding the set button. You have only two seconds to perform this action. After pressing the read button three times, your device will briefly display CAL followed by BLN. At this time, release the set button. If the device does not display these prompts, you did not successfully complete pressing the read button three times within the two second time frame. In this case, you will need to go back and repeat step one. If, however, you were successful, you are ready to perform an air blank on the device. An air blank is a procedure that checks the device for any residual alcohol that may remain from a previous test. Press the read button. A moving dash indicates a sample has been taken and is being analyzed for alcohol content. Set will display. Press the set button. Then CAL will display. Carefully attach the alco sensor to the mouthpiece on the regulator. Next, press and hold the regulator button and count to seven. When you reach the count of six, press the read button. On the count of seven, release the regulator button. Gas must be flowing through the mouthpiece when the read button is pressed. Remove the AlcoSensor 3 and mouthpiece from the regulator. When the result displays, adjust the reading so it matches the expected value. 
You do this by inserting the calibration screwdriver that came with your instrument into the small hole on the right side of the instrument, turning clockwise to increase the number to match the value, or counterclockwise to decrease the number to match the value. Press the set button. This ensures the fuel cell sampling chamber is in a closed position and the device is ready for the next test. Record the calibration result in your logbook. Finally, perform an accuracy check on your device to verify the calibration adjustment was successful. It is important to note if your instrument cannot maintain accuracy within an allowable tolerance following a calibration, you must take the instrument out of service and have it evaluated and serviced by a factory trained technician. If you need technical support or repairs on your AlkaSensor breath alcohol instrument, contact one of our factory trained technicians at 1-800-227-9890 or through live chat at alcopro.com.